Alright, so welcome back to my channel everybody. I wanted to do this a little bit of an intro because of the fact that I do stand-up comedy and yes, you clicked on this video to see that, but I wanted to give a bit of a content warning because I do swear a lot in my stand-up comedy, alright, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people do, but if this is your first time seeing my comedy, I just wanted to put that out there. Don't watch it around the kiddos, don't watch it around parents if you're going to be embarrassed with it. Other than that, I hope you enjoy it. I will be doing more stand-up comedy and this is going to be posted after every time that I do it. So yeah, hopefully I get lucky and we just keep on going and that is the world's worst heart uh, again. Alright, here we go. Cody, come up here! Hey! Wow, that's like the biggest round of applause I got since I came out of the closet two years ago. <laughs> no, so people always ask me all the time why I'm so short and stuff. It's because I stopped growing at like 12. You know, I got, I went to the same pediatrician until I was about 18. And the first male doctor I ever met in my life for adults told me to drop my pants, turn my head, and cough. It was also called the army doctor. <laughs> See, some people got that. Yeah. I'll have to learn it again when I'm 40 and have to get a prostate exam done. It's probably not going to be a fun experience. I and mean, everything, the other thing that God blessed me with was the ability to be gay. So that prostate exam is probably going to be just a little bit enjoyable. <laughs> Instead of it being some fluid coming from the finger because he's got gel, it's probably going to be some, you know, ejaculation going on. The one thing I'm probably going to have to figure out is how to not make eye contact with the, with the doctor as it happens. <laughs> So, during the quarantine, I'm going to talk about it for just a second, because I did the three stereotypical things that all gays do when you're in quarantine and have nothing better to do. One, I dyed my hair a random color. Two, I downloaded Grindr. And three, of course, I made a fucking TikTok. <laughs> so for those of you that have actually seen my TikTok, if you have, I'm so sorry. Literally, I am, because I've done everything under the book to try and get followers. I'm 720 strong, by the way. If I get another 300, I might get a cookie and I get to go live. <laughs> so, <laughs> one thing I'm glad that living in Germany during the quarantine, though, it actually taught Germans the simple lesson of personal space. Because every single time you're in line, you just have to sit there and you feel this random moist hot breath on your neck. And you turn around and it's some angry German woman because she thinks you did something wrong that you turned around and looked at her. Like, back up. Why, why are we? Why are we? In, why are we in line like this? Why are you? Why are you so close to me? Right. The only other thing I can compare it to is when I'm taking a shower and the curtain wants to hang on to my skin. Like fuck off. Like stop touching me. Well, I can get comedy from my family. All right. My grandmother is the funniest character I know from my family. All right. She has done literally the weirdest things in her life. One time we took her to Myrtle Beach. She said she wanted to boogie board. Right. So we let her do boogie boarding, and in eight inches of water, somehow she decided that she was going to be that afraid of it, that she was going to drag my, down with, my dad down with her as she fell in eight inches of water, flopping around. And I'm going to do a little bit of, like, you know, physical reaction with this. Hold on. Because you're not getting the right physical, you know. <laughs> she's literally flopping her hands up in the air like this with her legs. And she's going, pull me up, pull me up, as she's dragging my dad down so badly. They had to call the Coast Guard. <laughs> Be careful when you do any online dating. I heard somebody talk about Tinder the other, earlier, right? Yeah. Grindr's just as bad. It's actually <laughs> worse, okay? Because all Grindr is is a bunch of people my age, like 20s and everything like that, and then you have the 70-year-olds that want to pay you for sex. <laughs> if I said no to you, it's probably because of one of three things. One, you don't have a profile picture. Two, you don't have any stats on your thing. Or three... I'm just not horny, so therefore, I'm not going to talk to you, right? So what do you think money has to do with it? Meanwhile, as I'm saying this, you know, I'm reaching over to grab the money that they're offering. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's quite opposite, right? That's all I'm doing. 